Okay guys, so I finally finished the batter. Took forever. But I'm about to pop, the, pop these puppies, puppies in the oven to cook and they're gluten free so let's pray they come up good. Okay? Okay, bye! <laughs> Hello guys! So I'm just waiting for the bread to be finished. I mean, the cake to be finished. Uh, it needs like uh, four more minutes or so. Starts smelling good in this kitchen! Yeah, so I'm baking cookies, I'm baking cake. Hold on, hold on. Let me excuse myself from the dramaticness of... Our, where is there good lighting? Um, here. Not good lighting, not good lighting, not good lighting, not good lighting. Yes, but I'm blurry as hell. So, focus on me, yes. Take off all the focus so it doesn't make that stupid clicking sound, but yes. So I'm baking a gluten-free cake, gluten-free sugar cookies. Um, I mentioned in my previous vlog, I am baking it for someone that my mom knows who can't have gluten. So I'm making them gluten-free stuff. Um, I'm making them like a simple butter cake with uh, raspberry filling and then I'm still debating on the on the frosting but I think I'm gonna make like a whipped cream kind of frosting ish thing yeah um, it's, really, it's I, hopefully it's gonna be cute because you know you have this idea in your head but when you do it uh, it doesn't turn out that way so I'm thinking I'm gonna make like a light oh my breath dang uh, light pastel blue frosting with like chocolate dripping on the sides and then on top it's gonna be like little trains um, that are functional as candle holder holders as well. So, ooh, look, at my lashes, baby. <laughs> Got them done yesterday. Um, <laughs> and then I'm gonna make sugar cookies, half. They're gonna be, um, um, we'll have chocolate frosting topping, and then like the initial, and then half of it will just be plain, but with the number of how they're turning, it's turning four. So, yeah, and maybe I'll put some like edible pearls on there. I don't know, I'm still debating. But uh, yeah, I'm excited, so I'm baking that. Uh, it's the first time ever baking anything gluten, and it definitely takes a little bit more effort, and just a little bit more. Um, but it should be good, I hope. <laughs> Sugar makes everything better, right? So, uh, yeah. So every time I bake or cook, I listen to music, and I have my music on shuffle that just happened to be playing Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber, the beeps. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, finish baking all dishes. Um, I'll show you like after it's decorated, I think, because it's too much to vlog and show you what I do, or maybe I will do it. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but if you want to see more of it, you should be following me on Instagram. It's yo, it's Moni, the same as YouTube. So if you want to do that, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put this camera down because it's so heavy. Okay, bye, bye. Well, see you later. Ooh. Oh, it's my song. I think those are Squirrelix. Oh, the timer went off. Ooh, oh my god. Okay, timer. Okay. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. It's Skrillex with his band, uh, back with his band. It's Make War. I love it. So good. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, the cake came out. The cake came out, or I took out the cake. Jesus. Um, oh my god, it smells so good, and they're like super heavy. I haven't, of course, I haven't tasted it, but oh my god. I feel like this is kind of like a holy grail. Who knew gluten-free yellow cake would be so good? It's so buttery because the recipe uses butter and it's just, oh my god, they're so golden. And I am currently mixing up the cookie dough. Um, the recipe calls for vanilla extract, but I was like, YOLO, because it's a sugar cookie. Sugar cookies kind of suck because they're so plain. So I decided to put a little bit of almond extract in there and oh my god. Smell so good, so good. Mm. Don't worry, everything's gluten free. Um, but yeah, it smells delicious. I can't wait to finally decorate them and, and everything. <sighs> Holy moly. Now I gotta bake the cookies. The reason I hate sugar cookies so much is because the history of me and sugar cookies. Well, to be fair, I haven't made them since I was like a little kid. They always burn. <laughs> they just, they just love to burn. They're, they're, they're the kind of cookies that just burn so hopefully they won't do that this time so yeah see you guys soon then <laughs> okay guys so i just assembled the cake i'm gonna pop this in the fridge because this is a whipped cream frosting so far it's doing really good there's no 
no leaks I don't think it's lighting <laughs> so this is just a chrome coat and then I'll do the outer coat um, so far so good and I did dye um, the camera's not picking up the true color but um, it's like a, a light mint green blue I wanted it a little bit different blue but the dye the first one I grabbed I thought was blue but it was actually like a teal blue and I'm like oh great but it's okay I think it's a really pretty color um, I'm going to put this in the fridge and then put another coat and hopefully then things will go by smoothly because so far so good. <laughs> so this is the finished cake. Um, the B, because the raw icing was in the fridge and everything, the extra moisture made a leak, but it's okay. I called it a lake, so <laughs> don't mind that. Um, it came out super cute, super good. The cake was hella dense, but it turned out really great. I love it. The trains are super duper cute. Yeah, and then I didn't have a video of the cookies, but the cookies were the best thing ever. They are so incredibly soft and so delicious. I highly recommend if you ever make these cookies, um, add a half a teaspoon, a little less than one-fourth of a teaspoon of almond extract. It totally makes a huge difference. So, yeah, guys, there you go. <laughs>